Hi, I'm Darren Yarbrough with Yarbrough and Sons Heat and Air. Welcome to our thermostat wall. A uh, long time ago, whenever we first went in business, we started our wall, and the only thing that you have to be to be on our wall is broken. So all of our thermostats are just thermostats that we've collected through the years, uh, except for the one that actually controls the uh, heat and air to the building. But anyway, I've got a little story. One of our favorite thermostats that, uh, that we got, I'll point that out to you here in just a second. But let me tell you a story. In 1885, there was a fellow by the name of Albert Butts. And uh, he kind of started the beginning of, of thermostats, which has turned into the modern thermostat that we have today. Uh, he developed a deal in 1885 called the Damper Fiper. And what this did was it was a damper that you put in your fireplace, and your fireplace, or I guess your wood stove, was in your home, and they had a damper that was in there that would open and close. And they had a thermostat on the wall that whenever your room temperature got too hot, this thermostat would go to a damper that cut off the combustion air to your fireplace. And so when it cut off your combustion air, the fire would die down, your room would get colder, your thermostat would open it back up, send a signal to it, and it would open back up again, allowing combustion air to go back and get your wood hot again. So anyway, so that was kind of the first climate controlled conditions of a house that there was, was the old damper flapper, and this was in 1885. Well anyway, Albert, he had lots of patents that he had through the years, and in 1916, he sold his patent, and it became the Minneapolis Heat Regulator Company. So that was in uh, uh, 1916. So anyway, so they did that, and that company kind of rocked along there for a little bit. Well, in 1927, the uh, Minneapolis Heat Regulator, Regulator Company merged with Honeywell. And so Honeywell is basically the, the majority of the thermostats that we see in homes today. So anyway, so this thermostat right here is the uh, Minneapolis Honeywell thermostat, and that's why the M and the H. Whereas today, you see thermostats that just say Honeywell. And so anyway, so that's kind of special because it's old, so it was made sometime about 1927, and it could have been made all the way up to 1963. In 1963, Honeywell and the Minneapolis uh, Heat Regulator Company, they had merged, like I said, in 1927, but it was 1963 when Honeywell, I don't know if they took the name off, but that's when they started going by just Honeywell. So I'm not sure what year that thermostat was made, but it was somewhere along in there. So anyway, so that was kind of a cool story. And then another one that Honeywell made is this T86 thermostat that's in millions of homes. And this thermostat's kind of special. It came out of a little house in Blanchard, Oklahoma, and I guess the husband and wife argued over the thermostat, and they did it so much that their thumb wore the paint off of that little circle there. And so anyway, so that was kind of cool. So anyway, so we kept that one. We got lots of thermostats. Some of them come off of uh, four furnaces. I think this one here was kind of special. It came off of a floor furnace, and it, was a, uh, it had a time clock on it. So that was kind of before its time, and so thermostats have come a long ways over the years. And so anyway, so that's what you've got to do to make the wall. So anyway, so if you think your thermostat needs to be on our wall, give us a call, 485-3470. Thank you very much.